I recently finished reading this book, and I'd like to give a quick review of it, this book here. I'd like to give a quick review, and uh, I would ask you to consider picking it up if you want to learn more about, let's say, philosophy, but it's not just philosophy. It's the complete works of Michel de Montaigne. He was a French philosopher, and so originally written in French, but I want to talk about the English, the English version. It's called The Complete Works. And I recently read it. Uh, I recently read it in English, and you might see the size of it and say, oh, not for me. Can't do it. Ah, uh, too thick. Well, don't worry about that. The cool thing about this and what I really liked about it is how bite-sized it actually is. You don't have to sit down and read it from beginning to end. You could open it up and find one of the essays. In fact, uh, Montaigne is considered one of the early pioneers of the format called the essay. An essay is on a specific topic but it's a short written work on a specific topic, not as long as a book, something like an article, right? And they're of varying lengths. But that's one of my favorite things about this is that it feels, each one of these feels quite unique to itself. And that makes the whole thing feel bite-sized because you could just read one and put it down and read one and put it down. So it might take you a while to read through them, but you could read them out of order. You can grab one. Uh, and then maybe come back to it later. That's that's what's cool. And he writes about so many different topics. So I want to talk a little bit about that. But um, if you're interested in general in in learning philosophy, and you, some people would dispute that this is philosophy, but there is philosophy in here. It's just that it's written in a way that's kind of uh, folky and um, uh, very personal and uh, very much sort of words of wisdom-ish that it sometimes doesn't sound like philosophy. But let's, let's just call it that. So he has so many different topics in here in these essays. One of them is all about um, what, he calls, what he calls prim primitive people, which would be um, discoveries of uh, tribes where they're still... Where they're still eating people, where they're still engaging in cannibalism. And his attitudes towards these things are quite modern, in fact. He's very open-minded. He tries to really explore things with an open-minded an open-minded view. That's what I find very refreshing about Montaigne. He was writing a long time ago, and when the topic of cannibalism comes up, he says, well, I mean, I, I, I guess... I kind of think cannibalism is weird, but they probably think what I eat is weird. So maybe, maybe there is no such thing as weird. Maybe, maybe weird is just a relative term that people use when they're not used to something. I mean, that's a pretty, a pretty modern idea. Uh, and he often starts the, the title of the essay with of. For example, I'm looking at of the affection of fathers. That's one topic. Of books. Of cruelty. Let's see, what else do we have here? That one's kind of a long one. Of glory, of presumption, of the greatness of Rome, of virtue, Caesar's methods of making war, the useful and the honorable, on some verses of Virgil, of coaches. So he writes on so many different subjects and has a really unique, thoughtful, and open-minded approach for all of them. Now, of course, some of the things that he says are completely outdated and totally wrong and just pretty pretty strange from my point of view but his thought process I find useful to follow so even though he's he's saying things often which are so far away from what I believe or what has come out in uh, the progress of science since his time his way of thinking, the view he has of the world, I find very refreshing and, for me, uh, was very informative, especially his open-mindedness and his willingness to um, dismiss things or push aside things that seem difficult or inconvenient. 
most people would really obsess over those things. And he just, he has a way of putting it on the shelf and saying, ah, that doesn't really matter, actually. His approach to that is, is really interesting. He suffered a lot from uh, kidney stones, and he complains about it, but also in a way that's very entertaining. I find Montaigne to be hilarious throughout. He's very funny. He's very clever. He has a very simple and clear style of writing. It's not hard to read. It's not hard to follow. And uh, I gained a lot from it. I, it gave me a lot of, a lot of things to think about. Um, but I think, I think the number one thing is that he, he's just so open-minded. And especially for someone in his time to be that open-minded, uh, it's, it's quite refreshing. So if you want to uh, pick this up, I recommend it because, as I said, it's not that difficult to read. The, the English translation I have is by Donald M. Frame. And again, it's the complete works. And I think ideal for someone who's at that level of reading in English, who's working on their English, because it's so bite-sized. Don't be scared by the size of it. You can pick out essays here and there and read based on your interest and read it over time. And I think that's what makes it, uh, that's what makes it ideal for those of you who are learning English. Ha, yes, here's, here's the one that I was talking about. Of Cannibals. The essay is called Of Cannibals. Oh, and he also, another great thing is, he has many quotations here. So if he's talking about something and then there's a quotation from a famous philosopher or poet who he likes and respects from the past, like Cicero and Virgil and, uh, and many others, uh, Lucan, uh, Propertius, uh, Horace. He, he quotes a lot of people. So I also was able to pick up a lot of other people that now I would like to read. I need to read more Cic Cicero. I need to read Horace. Uh, and I need to read uh, uh, Lucan for sure, and some, some uh, Lucretius, and some of the others as well. So he he name drops a lot of people that he uh, that he has read, or that he's drawn his wisdom from, and in a way he's kind of passing along some of the wisdom that he's learned from these other authors who are from another another time, way before him. So uh, that's one thing. I've I've added a lot of books to my reading list just from the references that Montaigne makes throughout his essays. And they're, they're put in usually a, a really useful context. So he'll make a statement, he'll share his opinion, then he'll put in the quotation from whoever, and that will somehow reflect his meaning or add something to his meaning or change the flavor of his meaning, which I also appreciate. So uh, check that out if you like, or if not, don't. But I enjoyed it. Guys, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button, of course. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out my full courses in the links in the description.